Uh, welcome back, everybody. Yep. We about to cop this jiggum. Got, got it, boys. Got it. We got boys. It. Boy. Okay, when I say that, I'm really specifically uh, channeling Ludwig. Ludwig? I don't know if you know who he is. Ludwig? Is he a streamer? Yeah. Ah. He's a streamer, but he also, like, he got, like, really, really big because he was like, I'm going to stream for 24 hours or, like, a stream until I beat this game mm -hmm. or until I do this thing, right? Yeah. And so, like... I mean, he's got, like, a definitely a, the personality for it, you know? Mm -hmm. But this is how, like, every video I've ever watched that had anything to do with Ludwig, this is how, it gets, this is how every episode starts. Boys! Just like that. Yeah. Like, it's that same inflection and everything. It's like, wow. I'm a boy now. Yeah. I've been, I've been boyed. And you know what, man? I feel like that got started. Mm -hmm. That That whole thing, I feel like PewDiePie started that. Oh, yeah. PewDiePie made this is what PewDiePie did. Everything. On the internet, he made the boys' locker room. <laughs> yeah. On the internet. Yeah. Cause there's like literally no women watching his videos. Yeah. Just That's, fourteen year old, nine year old boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nine year old army. Just boys. And I mean, hey, like it's that I miss that though. I feel like when we stopped playing uh Call of Duty, we stopped with the boys. We miss the boys, the, the locker room. Come and see me in old Grinchy's lair in Spiral Mountain, and then I'll tell you your tale. I'll tell you your... <laughs> just cut him off. Hip. Hip. Ilo Hags. Mm -hmm. Look at them clowns. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabs. The Wooded Hollow. The Wooded Hollow. Hollow of Hag. Where are the hags? Mm, hagging who, around. Where are the hags? I don't know, man. Just hagging around. What? Who is the hag? Is we, there one hag? No, it's Gruntilda and her sisters. Hmm. Hmm. Who's this little feller? It's a, a little mouse chick that we gotta let her go back to. Eek. Thank you very her, much. Her her friend. Quote unquote friend. Friend. Probably like butt lovers or something i don't know she probably he probably like sticks her up his butthole like to do a little <laughs> scratch scrabbling in his butthole like um what's his name did or at least the the, the legend goes fuck uh richard gear used to do that richard gear yeah that's what the legend was that it's called like hamstring or something like that he stuck a hamster up his ass how do you do that without killing the hamster i don't know look it up man look look look, look it up look up hamstring or something like Richard Gere. I think it was Richard Gere. Who is Richard Gere? An actor. I, mean, I didn't know that. But it... You'll see him and you'll, you'll know it. Wow, I love that guy has like a whole... Wow. Yeah, man, now, now look up Richard Gere hamstring. Wow. Do you think that he's really a hamster? I don't think so. I think it was just like... Guff Beans. I think it was just somebody like said it, you know? And then like it took off. But maybe he does hamster. I don't know. I think it was South Park. Astrable. Hey, yeah, Astrables. That's what it. A highly questionable cultural history of Richard Gere's Astrable. The rumor has endured for decades, becoming as deeply embedded in pop culture as. That alleged gerbil itself. Who would have thought Gear himself would come out of looking, of it looking so enlightened? Of course, you know the story. It comes as one of the enduring celebrity rumors of all times. All right. Prince getting his ribs removed to suck his own dick. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> uh, once got a gerbil stuck up his ass and then had to go to the ER to get it removed, and that's it. End of story. Yet this single sentence narrative has somehow endured the test of time for decades, like some ancient folklore passed down from generation to generation. Where the hell am I? I think. Wait. Let's establish whether gerbling, as it's apparently called, is even a real thing. Certainly, the Wikipedia article for gerbling, which contains perhaps the greatest wiki image caption pairing of all time. 
the act is merely a rumored sexual practice. <laughs> Damn, you can really just gerbil someone. <laughs> Y'all want to get gerbled? I, I, I might be down for a gerbling. What the hell is down here? There's like nothing. There's no point in this. My ass likes a good gerbling from time and again. From time and again. Mm. Time immemorial. Since time if I can't again. get my gerbled gerbils, then what's the point? See, imagine this being a multiplayer, but some of the um, little side quest, little arcade games, mm -hmm. um, like whoever wins gets a, a power up. Whoever wins gets to, you know, have this for this level or whatever. You know what I mean? They gotta have a certain move while the other person has to like just deal with it. Hmm. So then you're like fighting against each other, but you still get what you need either way. Whoever wins. I could, I mean, maybe. So then you're fighting against each other as you're fighting with each other. Do you best, remember? Best I can give you, pal, is a fucking straight up maybe. That's a maybe. Eh? Yeah, I I don't know. I, that seems like too complex but maybe I don't perhaps know. perhaps you'll that's that, that, that that's what you get from me man is perhaps you'll big wow all i ever get out of you is a perhaps you all right pal so give me something else and i'll, I'll give you a, a solid <laughs> answer i'll give you a solid i'll give answer. you a solid maybe yeah a solid <laughs> uh, we'll see all right mm -hmm. All right, let me let me tell you about this one. Okay. Did you know that there is a chain of islands underwater in the Atlantic mm -hmm. that has recently gone underwater, and when they did test of it, they could tell that there was life above land, above above water, life like not too long ago, like five, ten thousand years ago. Okay, okay, hang on a second. Say say that again. So there's, there's a group of islands in uh -huh. the Atlantic uh -huh. that is clearly underwater now. Okay. But they did test of it, and they could tell that there was life that was above water, or like above land life. At some point? At some point within like a few thousand years. Like not that long. Um, So. Are you about to hit me with some Atlantis? And if you go off of Plato's like whole thing about Atlantis. Uh-huh. It perfectly aligns with where these islands are. Perfectly and it got aligns. scooped up into the ocean in a single night. So you're you are you you are asking me are, uh, what what's the question? I have yet I to guess hear the, the question. The question is, do you think it's possible that what that, what's that your was Atlantis? On? Yeah, that we had actually in it well, I mean they probably didn't call themselves Atlantis. But that there was yeah. a advanced civilization living on those islands, and then due to some sort of geothermal activities, the water scooped them up, mm -hmm. and then we just haven't seen any. Like maybe they built the pyramids in Egypt and everything, but then some other people came along later and like actually called themselves Egyptians and like took over the area. But like whoever built all these crazy monoliths all over the world was just them, and then they got scooped in. And then other cultures were like, nah, it was us. Because, I mean, it was thousands of years ago. Before history. Hmm. I would say... Because uh, the best account of the whole thing we have is from Plato. And Plato got it from his uncle. Yeah. Who was like... A drunk. No. <laughs> a couple generations older than him. Yeah. So it's like... Mm. Is he like respectable enough to? Well, I mean, Plato respected him, and we seem to respect Plato. So, mm, I suppose Plato, my friend, Plato is possibly Plato. Hmm. I will say, is is that possible? Yes. Do you subscribe to it? This is the first I'm really hearing about it, so I can't say yes. But I am definitely, but but I, but I but I am definitely intrigued, <laughs> and willing to look into it more. You could say per, perhaps that it was perhaps a big maybe. Per, per, perhaps <laughs> I could say big maybe, but 
I won't. So tell my wife I said hello. Hello. So <laughs> so because I can't give you a yes, I will say no. I don't subscribe to it only because I don't have. Look at I, that I, fat child. I need to think about it a little bit more. You know. Mm-hmm. I like that we're finally here. Thank goodness you came for me. Don't you think you had? No way. I just need a burger. I you feel that, Duba. Bish. I feel that. All right. What's your last meal? My last meal? Yeah. Mm. Hopefully, like. Hopefully, like pizza or a burrito of some sort. <laughs> Keep it simple. I don't want no Hagen Dazs. Fucking fuck Hagen Dazs. I don't know some weird. I just got beat the hell up, by the way. Wow, what a Madam Grunty's tent is closed temporarily for a few ref- refurbishments. That didn't rhyme. I know. What the fuck, Grunty? What the hell? Boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, a dee. Split up, separate skills. You lack duty, dee, bop, a dee, bop, boop. <laughs> That'll be all. Now get out of here. I gotta go set I, up FEMA camp. I'd say, wow. <laughs> I'd say, going back to the Atlantis thing. Hmm. I think that is. That's that's very interesting though. Like to consider. Hmm. Um, do I think that uh, the people who may or may not have called themselves Atlanteans, you know, <laughs> Atlantis, you know, yeah, that they. Uh, it would have been just like a little, like the British Isles, just right past uh, the Strait of Gibraltar. Okay, but but do I think that they, um, let's see if that gives me a little bit more. No, okay. Uh, do I think that they created the pyramids? No. Hmm. Why four? Why four? Mm-hmm. Well, I feel like we had just talked about and like, and you said that one of the pyramids got started within like 50 years and there's like records of it happening to oh, those yeah. people. I mean, the the Great Pyramid, the biggest one. Yeah. It was done in 50 years. So, I, I guess going off of that reasoning, I would say, no, it's not, <laughs> it wasn't them. How so? Well, we just dis- discussed that they made the pyramids. Well, I mean, that's, that's based off of like the common, you know, Egyptologist mainstream sort of. Which, if there's any sort of just mainstream that I just don't kind of believe in, it's like the whole Egyptologist thing. Just because so many have been like, mm, let's just sell these to private collectors and make some money off of it. And no, we don't want anybody to come in and do their own private things. It's, it's like very like just. No, only we get to come over here and look at things, and only we get to tell you what it is, you know? No Ooh. outside clarification. I didn't know that. Yeah. Like, the, the main guy that you'll see, like, on all the documentaries, Hawass or whatever his name is, mm-hmm. he, like, been, been caught he like multiple times. Yeah, he's a real fucker. He's been caught multiple times, like, just selling priceless artifacts to people. Just, oh, give me some money real quick. You know, like. It's yours. There's only one of these in the whole fucking world. We don't know what it is. It's the most important thing ever. You can tell us anything. And then. I just sell 50 it to bucks. You. Yeah. <laughs> like, it really. So he's like a real shit. Okay. So. Well, I mean, that that, that seems pretty shitty. Um, a pa- Supposedly. Supposedly. I don't so know. big I maybe. Don't, I don't. Mm, <laughs> I choose to believe to hate this guy. <laughs> Nah. I don't know particularly, diggly, but I don't trust it. No, sir. Mm-mm, no I don't sir. trust it. No, ma'am. I I don't know. I I feel like even even with the, the fucker with that guy stealing stuff. Mm-hmm. A, a, a quote unquote stealing stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to. Mm-hmm. Because the first time I've really ever heard about it was from you right now in this moment. Yeah. So I will say, I still think that you know the yeah. Egyptians made it. It's that 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 was not enough of a fair enough of a thing for me. I think the only 
assumption about like the whole Atlantis thing because if we know that there was an island there and we know that it was there about like 10,000 years ago and we know that there was above land creatures there like mm -hmm. you could live it was hospitable mm -hmm. I think the only real jump you have to make is was there a civilization around at the time that knew enough to build a boat to swim out a good 100 miles or whatever mm -hmm. and that was it I think you can do that. I think that's not too... I mean, fuck, bro. They built the pyramids, for God's sake. Like, you tell me they didn't have some sort of, like, early freighter, like, well, who, who, going okay, up and wait, down wait, the who, river. Who are you saying built the pyramids? Uh, whoever the fuck, you know, could have gone over there. Maybe it was the Egyptians. And then, you know, we don't know. I don't know who the fuck was on that island. But whoever could have gone on that island, all they needed was just some sort of boat. But at that same time, about 5,000 years ago, whatever, we were building pyramids, like... Ah, come on, you know, not too bad, not too shabby. We probably had a boat big enough to go a couple hundred nautical miles. Hmm. Hmm. Not too bad. And then just build a little civilization over there. So, why are you hmm. so against the idea of it actually being the Egyptians who've done it? Well, man, I'm not against it. It could have been them. I mean, it was. If we're being real, it's probably the same demographic, or not demographic, gene of people. Like it's the mm -hmm. same people living around in that area. Okay. It's just different cultures around it, or different civilizations. Whether they called themselves Atlantis, or if they were just Egypt over there, or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Who knows? But somebody clearly built the pyramids. Somebody clearly could have lived on that island. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. Who knows? See, I love spooky theme park arcade. Like, yeah, same. When it's just cheesy over the top. Yeah, I. I'm right there with you. I'm scooping it. I'll scoop what you poop. Where's the damn just keep on pooping? Oh, here it is. Is this one? Chuff, chuff, bitch. Chuff, chuff, motherfucker. <laughs> chuff, chuff. Oh, dude. So. There's a band you need to look up. I say band. It's a, a rap group mm -hmm. called um, Tyrannosaurus 5 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Are they pretty good? Yeah, they're they're pretty good. Um, I uh, Dre and I went to a, uh, a concert recently. Mm -hmm. A bunch of smoke them up, tobacco them. Oh, pal, I wish it was Some tobacco. Some whack them, tobacco. Yeah, that, that's what it was. I just thought you sent me a picture and it was just a, a cloud dusted across this field. And I, was, I knew. Oh, pal, it was. I knew it wasn't. It was nothing, thick. Dude. It was thick. Dude, I bet. I just saw nothing but dreaded hippies walking around. Oh, I was pal. Like, oh, God. It was. Just some like, feral ghouls. Yeah, it was, it was rough. <laughs> <laughs> like, no way you got out of it without a contact tie, you know? Did you get a little, did you get a little smoked out? Oh, pal, like almost instantly. Were you high? No. No. Did you notice any difference? In me? No. Yeah. Outside of the fact that I got a headache. Did your heart rate start going up a bit? No. Hmm. But I mean, I Was feel like... Was Drave just blasted out of her mind? Well, I don't want to say blasted out of her mind, but she had previously, you know... Partook of the... Part partook of some certain things. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to... Rat her out. I'm not. I'm not ratting her out. I mean, I'm not. You know, I'm not even passing. I ain't no, no good rat. I'm not even. I'm not even passing judgment on it. You know, like Little why the hell not? You know. People. Think about it this way, though. This generation of people mm -hmm. is the most sober generation of all human history. So that doesn't bode well for us. Humans and external chemicals are like two peas in a pod, bro. <laughs> we had ergot. We had the weed. We had. All kinds of shit. Just is. everything. Anything. Oh, yeah. And we were trying to... We, dude, we out here licking toads and shit just yeah. trying to get high. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> like, it, it was... Uh, guess what, motherfucker? You bastard bitch. Um, Minjo. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, but, yeah, it was... Uh, it, it, it was a pretty cool concert, all things considered, you know? Like, you gotta honk at that door. No, I know. I don't want to honk at the door yet. Oh. Um, 
we were definitely a lot of Bob Marley. Yeah, it it, it, it yeah. was cool. The, the the music there was cool. It was the movement, um, stick figure, and slightly stupid. <laughs> slightly stupid was probably my least favorite. The movement was pretty jiggy. It's like reggae, rock. All like weird alternative thing, you know. Mm. But it was jiggy. I could get down with it. And then there was a stupid sign. Um, and then at, at a certain point, like the guys like, like the legendary, and they said his name. I didn't hear his name because it was so fucking loud. And he was like from Tyrannosaurus Five or something like that. And like everybody was flipping the fuck out. And I was like, wow, like this guy must be cool. <laughs> this guy just this come, guy must be a cool cat. <laughs> yeah, this guy just comes strutting out, and he's like, he was he was like, the amount of cool that he had is just not fair. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. And so we were we listened to some of the like one of the albums, and it was like, it's pretty juicy, man. My, all, all I'm saying is check it out, man. That's what I'm saying. Tyrannosaurus I'll Five. It, I'll, it. I'll play a couple of tunes with me and old Poopus. Yeah. It, it, it it's worth it. It's cool. It's jiggy. That that's all I'm getting at. Tyrannosaurus five. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus five. And the movement and stick figure. Just and not it, slightly stupid. I mean, you can listen to slightly stupid if you want. It just I'll judge you for it. I won't <laughs> even judge you for it. It's just I didn't think it was that great. You know, yeah, like yeah. like okay, the movement really felt like they were like they were talking about stuff, you know? Like the music was like real. Stick mm. figure Okay, the the lead singer of Stick Figure has like insane, like presence on stage. Mm -hmm. Like it's like infectious watching him. You know, like, like you can just strut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 like you like get with it. You know. Mm -hmm. But the songs that they played were they were okay, but the movement was better. And then slightly stupid was just like okay, like <laughs> it it, was just, it just felt very generic reggae rock. Yeah, you know, it felt like they were like, okay, so this is the genre, we're in, so we're just gonna do this, you know. Too many, yeah, they had too many uh, predecessors. Well, oh, okay, good. Damn, <laughs> I was like, bro, well. glitch it out. You might go into the, dude. You might go into the back room. You might go into the back room, bro. Ah, do it again. Do it again. Do it try it over here. I got good and stuck over here. You got good and tight over here, number. All right, gentlemen. Um, this has been it for today's episode of Banji, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna come back with another hot, and spicy episode of Banji. Uh, mm -hmm. Look out for it; it's coming for you. Yeah, grab your mom, hide them. Your hide grandma, your kids, hide, hide your hide wife. Her. Coming for. Her. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.